Oh, hey guys, come check this out. The match is Groundhog Day. I think I'll pass on that. No, wait, I think that's kind of interesting. After all, Groundhog Day is part of what makes Puff Tatani famous. Yeah, let's take a look. If the candle mist be far and bright, come winter, have another flight. If candle mist brings clouds and rain, go winter and come not again. Whoa! What? Shh, Phil is sleeping. It is okay, just follow me. What is going on? And where are we? More importantly, what is up with her clothes and who is that guy? Welcome to the world of the magic of Groundhog Day. My name is Clymer Fries, and I'm from the year 1902. I am the city editor of the Punxsutawney Spirit newspaper. I am a member of the Punxsutawney Groundhog Club. Some even call me the father of Groundhog Day. Your outfits change because I have made you honorary members of the club and we have a strict dress code. How did we get here? When you read the song of Candlemas Day, you unlocked the magic within Groundhog Day. What is Candlemas Day? And what exactly does it have to do with Groundhog Day? All very good questions. Allow me to take you on a tour through time and give you some explanations. I even have Phil here to help me out. Follow me, folks. When European settlers came to Pennsylvania and settled in the area that is now known Puxatawney, they had a tradition of distributing candles to the people in the community. The weather on the day that they were distributed predicted the weather for the rest of the winter. But what does that have to do with Phil? Phil predicts the weather too, right? Yes, his shadow tells us if we're going to have more winter or spring will be sooner. Very good. You know your Groundhog Day. The German settlers changed the tradition to say if the sun was showing on Candlemas Day, there would be six more weeks of bad weather or a second winter. Oh, oh, oh. If the sun is shining, there would be shadows. And when Phil sees a shadow, there is more winter. Mr. Climber, is that how that works? Yes, now the Germans use hedgehogs as predictors, but those are not native to this area. We have groundhogs around here. There were three in my backyard last night. That must be why Phil is a groundhog, because they are so popular around here. Wow, you really are some bright students. I'm glad I made you honorary members for the Groundhog Club. I hope when you return home, you'll share what you've learned. Mr. Review, Candlemas Day was a day in winter that predicted how the rest of winter would be. People said if the sun was shining on the day, there would be more winter. And now we use Phil to help us know if the sun is shining. He tells us if there will be more winter or spring is soon. Look, there's a Phil toy. I have one just like that at home. My mom has a statue of Phil in our front yard. Well, it is quite rude to talk about someone without introducing themselves. Come over here. Hello, Phil. I am Clymer Fries, an old friend, and these are my new friends, and honorary members of the Groundhog Club. How are you today? <laughs> okay, I'll let them know. All right, folks, Phil says hello and welcome to his book. He wants to tell you all about his life story and history of Groundhog Day. Can you talk to us? Unless you are fluent in groundhoggies, I'm afraid not. Don't worry, I'll interpret everything he says. Groundhoggies? It is the very special language that Phil speaks to me. As I am the groundhog president, it is how he tells us if spring is coming soon or if there will be a longer winter. What does the Groundhog President do? The Groundhog President is a person who talks to Phil during the Groundhog Day ceremony. He is the head member of the Punxsutawney Phil's inner circle. Oh, right, and Phil's handlers hold him while he is talking to the President. His handlers are specially trained so that they don't upset Phil while, when they're holding him. Well, what else does the Groundhog Club do? Why would you want to be a part of it? 
I am glad you asked. Things have changed a little in your time, but while I'm in charge, the Groundhog Club hosts an annual hunt for groundhogs in September each year. Anyone that wants to join the hunt is welcome. We've had over 250 people join us for the hunt in 1907. The hunt lasted three days and we had 32 groundhogs caught and then we feasted on them. What, you kill groundhogs? We don't do that now. Do they taste good? Why would you want to do that? People from different times and places eat all kinds of foods that we wouldn't normally eat. Groundhogs were probably thought of differently than we think of them now. Very good friend. The hunt was natural in my time, but like you've noticed, it is not a tradition that is still celebrated in the 2000s. But don't get confused, the hunt for groundhogs was not a wild chase without any rules. Our hunt hunts had strict rules about what weapons could be used and how to take care of the groundhogs. We allowed no guns in our hunts. They would be unnecessary aggressive to use against the creatures. Instead, we required shovels and grub hoes. Why did you choose those weapons? They require the hunters to be skilled when using tools instead of guns. The hunters must be close enough and confident enough to kill the groundhog on their attack. Using gun can only lead to missing the kill and could end up injuring the animal instead of killing it. The use of guns would also mess up the hunt because of the loud sound they create. Right, a gun firing would scare up all of the groundhogs and no one would be able to complete the hunt. The hunt was a great deal of fun, but we like to end the celebration with a feast. The feast was held after one final groundhog was captured to predict our weather in February. We kept the groundhog in a store downtown. He lived in the store until his time to shine came. We keep Phil in a similar place now. He has a home at the library in the middle of Punxsutawney, and he also has a home at the Gobbler's Knob. I am glad to hear the townsfolk of Punxsutawney are taking good care of my friend in your time too. He is a very special being. Oh no, we were ignoring Phil. I wonder where he's going. Well, there's only one way to find out what he wants. Let's go follow him. Hey, where, where is, is Phil? Phil? There he is. What a splendid idea. What is going on, Mr. Freeze? Phil has decided to take us on a tour of his past homes. He made us come out to Rossiter to see Canoe Ridge, the first location of Groundhog Day. All right, Phil is ready to go to the next place. Follow me. What a hike. You're right. We traveled out to Olivberg to see the location of Groundhog Day in 1952. Phil must have not liked this location too much because we moved to Algeo Park in Big Run, Pennsylvania next year. Phil wanted me to add that before we got to the final place. The Groundhog Day festivities have been held at Sportsman Club Park since 1966. It is located just outside the borderline. Now, what do we call Phil's favorite place? I know that one, Gobbler's Knob. Why do they call it Gobbler's Knob anyway? Great question. There are two legends. The first is that it was named for the good times that were had hunting and feasting on the groundhogs. The second theory is that it is named after all the turkeys that live in the woods near the knob. Oh boy, they must have gobbled up those feasts. My mom says not to gobble down a meal too quickly or I'll get sick. I know turkeys are gobblers because how they sound. That makes so much sense. Phew, we are so full of information. Thank you, Mr. Fries and Phil, for teaching us about Groundhog Day history today. Phil says thank you for spending the day with us. He is always happy to share 
with others about this holiday. Now return to your time. You must tell me three things you've learned today. Phil had, has had many places that they hosted Groundhog Day at. The Groundhog Club used to host a hunt for groundhogs. Groundhog's Day started a long time ago, and we celebrate today on February 2nd. Bye, friends. We hope you'll visit us again. Would you all like to rejoin the class? Do you have anything to share about Groundhog Day? Oh boy, can I? Yes, I can.